record this real fast. Go, girl. Because you need to meet Space Girl. Max, who's this? This is Space Girl. She has is, a name, but I don't know it. Is, is she a fish? It's fun. It's work. I'm testing a low orbit space plane design. Is that. W what? How's the testing going? Not now, Baz. How's the testing going? Not now. It's like, Baz. just look at that face. That's a fish! That's a fish. That's a fish in a space helmet. She, it's just a, it's just a sphere, with a flat top, <laughs> with a bow on it, and no <laughs> mouth and no nose, and the eyes aren't connected to the sphere. What is this game? This game is so great. <laughs> I love this thing. <laughs> I mean, I mean, we got. Do you want to just start here? <laughs> Why not? Max, what are we doing? <laughs> well, we're, meet we're meeting Space Girl and having a grand old time collecting things. This is beautiful. You've actually been really just pounding away at this. I, um, now, again, there there are a few things that are that are as hard as playing a 3D platformer without a controller. And Like playing Dark Souls 2 on the banana? Yeah. It Bananas. It feels a bit like that. Oh, hey. I didn't even know hey, this was here. I'm glad we're recording. How are you smelling it? You ain't got a nose. What's the rush? Are you kidding? I only have a few days to become a psychonaut or I lose my shot forever. Look, Raz. I hate to burst your bubble, but the psychonauts are not what they used to be. What? Times have changed. The world just doesn't You shut your whore anymore. mouth. <laughs> Whoa. Right here at this very Max, camp. there are kids present. I think there are several fishy things that need to You can't prove that. You are Guy, so it's... immature. And cute. There. When are you gonna just shut up and kiss me? Shut up and do what? Oh, I didn't know you could. Uh, I gotta go. Ooh. Mutter, mutter, mutter. She looks so much better in engine. Oh. She does. Uh, that's Every, it. all the characters too. The whole game does. Man, um, somebody posted that recently on the on the gaming subreddit. Um, oh yeah, you have to have the ball. You have to have the ball to get this high. Oh wait, ah. no, not true. Oh, not true. Oh, oh, uh, uh, true. Very, <laughs> very true. Unfortunately, true. All right. Uh, since we need. Hey, I admire your attempt. All right. Anyway, what was it about our gaming or whatever? Uh, on our gaming, where uh, somebody's been playing Portal Two in 4K. Whoa! The God rays are crazy. Oh, that's because uh, when you upscale an old engine, yeah, all the anti-aliasing, all the hard, jagged edges are gone. Yeah. What? So like, it's just gorgeous. Think you'd really take me up on that offer? It usually scares the kids off. Well, not me. I'm ready to kill for That's my good. Dad. I'm sorry, but I can't train you. Agent Vodello would kill me. What's the big deal? What's she you don't oh, you're willing to kill. Here, I have an assignment for you. I could lose my job. I'll get one. Even if you used that secret passage over there and snuck into his sanctuary, Agent Crawler would never give you a marksmanship <laughs> permit. Agent Crawler. Never in a million. I'm on. <laughs> Even if you go down, like, reminds me of the, the first part of The Incredibles. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. When he's, uh, he's like, good. telling her how to, uh, how to, like, bypass all the, le all the legalese. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when he's telling the old lady how to bypass all the insurance stuff. You know, uh, the talk about the 4K and Portal thing reminds me a lot of the constant debate and tactics of making a remaster. Oh. Um, because if you do a, like, basically like a one-for-one -one remastering, like Crash Bandicoot, you actually have a lot of people complaining about it. Because of like, it's so hard. I don't remember it being so hard. Because 10 years after that game first came out, we've polished up so much of the mechanics in the control scheme. Yeah. So when you go back to that to it, if a company just makes the game look pretty but keeps the same exact control mechanics, it can be attack. It can be tough. Yeah. In the same way that um, because you're going back in time essentially. Uh, to an era before we got Excellent. to well, where we are now sure in games. Oh, uh, I just skipped over it. He said ass for the first time. In the <gasps> yes. Are you going to pull me into your mind like the coach? Hmm. 
no offense, but it's time you saw what an organized mind. This is actually really cool. Oh, whoa, look at that cutscene. And all the blood flies out. Alright, and we're going into his mind. Um, in Welcome to Agent 9. Whoa. Welcome to my mind. Huh. It's so out. Uh, I mean Burn! There's more here than meets the eye, but I've learned to keep it under strict control, and that's what I'm going to teach you. Control your feelings, your fears. Just bottle them up. Anger. You must <laughs> learn to control them. Focus Great. them. Good advice, Max. Concentrate them and release Yeah, I totally won't turn into Darth Vader. No, as firepower. Say something hideous and horrible jumps out at you. Something so disgusting that it simply must die. Ah, oh, it's so tacky. I can't look directly at it. But I control those feelings. Focus them, concentrate, and release. And the world is a better <laughs> place. Your turn. <laughs> I like it. Well, well done, Raz. Keep well done, Raz. Keep. So you get guns. You get a headbang. You. It's. It's also just a. Now you must. Just a headbang, really. Squirrel. Squirrel. Were set upon by multiple attackers. I love his enemies. You need to dispense with them in a certain order. Eliminate these monsters. I'll be honest. That's what you're wearing, dude. You can move on to the next lesson. Ain't doing it for you. Ah, targeting. Good. Again. Good. Again. Now then. Wow, that Whoa. Is, the in engine looks so much better. Ow. It really does. Now. Is this what you saw in your vision? Um, well, it sure seemed a lot bigger in my head. Ah, problems often seem larger in our heads than they Wait really till you get older, kids. That's that would be terrifying. To learn. But this is a sensor, an integral part of any sane person's mind. The sensors roam through your psyche. Looking for thoughts that don't belong, hallucinations, manias, waking dreams. The <laughs> YouTube. Them down Sorry. And Excuse censor me. them out. Why do they come after me? I'm not a mania. Yes, but you are a foreign entity in my mind. You technically don't belong here. Yes, but I was attacked. And yes, well, the brain tumbler could be mine. Or you could be we'll insane. Test for that later. No. For <laughs> in the meantime, shoot it with your head bang. Pew. We're in America. Blast the sucker. That's the spit. I killed it. It was just a thought I was having, and it's not dead. It has just returned to its basic form, raw psychic energy. Go absorb it. It's good for your mental health. Wait, so if you go absorb it, is it then dead? No, it's then a part of you. As you absorb this energy, and what are you a part mental, of? But as you psi blast, well, you're an astral projection into his damage. brain. So, so you're technically still part of him. Small yeah, you're ten you're essentially a simulacrum in his head. As well. Okay. That you are play that you're controlling. So you're an avatar in his head. Gotcha. So, so when you leave, you kind of leave whatever you got took in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like a like a mind condom. Slow and steady wins the race, my eager young friend. Now practice. Well, now you know our target audience. Carefully. But that actually is a good explanation, I think. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out like the rules of of this world. Whoa, you're just really pushing it, ain't ya? All day. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here we go. Uh oh. Claggity. Uh. -oh. Claggity, claggity. Uh oh. Oh dear. Whoa. Oh. Portal turrets? Oh yeah, come to Papa. Raz, what have you done? This is not control. This is chaos. I'll try to fix it. You stay here and keep the numbers under control. Cool. Wow, this just every time it cuts to 4K, it just looks better. And better. There is such a difference. Um, I think that I've been rendering. I think I've just been rendering down to 1080. Um, ah. For YouTube compression and such. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that and because like. Speaking of oh, speaking of better graphics, they're remastering Spyro. 
Yes. Yeah. I've seen videos of it, and I love it. I never played Spyro. I hope they don't change the music. Uh, music has an interesting Let's thing. Be, see those valves? What's up? G what GTA 4, for example, recently is about to lose their license for the music in the game, so they're doing a, a patch to get rid of it. The game is almost 10 years old now, I think. And they're still like they they still have the ability to remove it. It's weird. That's so crazy. Trademark and such is so weird. Or I already leveled up again. Wow. Sasha's first loss. His mama. Mama helps him. There's uh uh, uh, whoa, whoa. uh whoa. Weinstein in the back one. Uh uh. Aww. Aww. Yeah, that. I love my mom too. Yeah, I'd be sad. I'd I'd be a broken mess for a while. And I feel like you need to be. I feel like that's, that's normal. Can we talk about masculinity for a sec? Um, Please. Okay, so like. Because you know, you and I are the most masculine people we know. But here's the thing: being honest with ourselves, like, is how we are masculine. Being honest with our feelings, and like, not masking it. Not masking how we feel around, uh, behind... Around the people that we care about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in the same way that, like... Like, I don't want a boss that cries every time I go into work. Yeah. But, if I'm not gonna fall... If, uh, like, my boss is now a guy, and if he's just like, Hey, I'm having a real tough time. Like, just being honest and have like admitting to having feelings in general mm -hmm. is apparently really hard for people like that's for me it's not you know i have a hard time telling people when when i'm upset or when something's really wrong not not because i'm like better than that of like oh i just don't want anyone to show i don't want to show weakness it's more of a i don't want to inconvenience them because i'm sure they're going through stuff too mm. so it's to me it's not really a like, I, I'm so masculine, I don't need to show weakness. It's a, they're probably going through stuff just as much as I am, if not more. Why should I put my luggage on top of that kind of thing? Mm, you don't want to be a burden to others. That's it. That's the, that's, I, that's the, that's ooh. the fine point. I don't want to be a burden to someone else. Ooh. It's not that I want to be mas Mr. Masculine. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that spiritually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every and I and I those no, those words never come up in my head when they like when I'm talking about my emotions or if somebody asks me how I'm feeling, I usually say I'm fine. Yeah. Um, but that thought, this that non-linguistic thought of I don't mat my my feelings don't matter as much as theirs. They're already having a full plate. Exactly. They're, they already have a full plate. Exactly. Is a, is a thought that I continuously have. Yes. But I say that enough in my head that even if they aren't, even if I, uh, like, even if, like, I know, uh, like, even if I know what's going on or, like, if I'm having, like, a really, really bad day, uh -huh. um, I'll continue to think that. And so that, that thought that was nice and helpful um, becomes kind of toxic. It's yes. just, uh, so instead of saying their, their opinions should matter more to them, their feelings should matter more to them, it comes into my feelings don't matter. Yes. And it's, um, exactly. Which creates like this downward spiral, um, if we're not careful. Yes. But yeah. It's that, that's, yeah. Um, and, and that's just as harmful as balling up your emotions because you just want to be masculine. It's the same thing, just different feelings behind it. Yeah. Yeah. The, the same action, just different motivations. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, I, my coworkers, for example, they go through stuff too, but I have to know that, that they care about my well-being too. And it's like, if you tell me that you're having a bad day, I don't feel it's a burden at all to me because it's like my friend is having trouble. What can I do to help them? It's a whole different mentality kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And it's realizing that it's the same thing to that other person you're talking to. It, oh, it takes a while. It's hard. And it's and it's not like a one-time quick fix thing. It's no. a thing that you have to practice. Oh, yeah, big time. You can't just snap out of it. 
it's like the whole thing of becoming uh, introvert to extrovert. You can't just snap out of it one day. Yeah. You can't just wake up and be like, I'm just going to talk to more people today. It's a progression thing. Yeah. And like constantly, pro constant progression about it. And, uh, and I would like any skill, really. Yeah. Ooh, oh, 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 uh, come on. Oh, that's a cool. That's so cool. Yeah, they just change gravity. So if you just walk on this corner, how do you program that? I have no idea. That's so hard. Uh, more games should do that because it's such a mind bend to you as well. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. This game is bringing out such such uh, conversations to us. Because we're walking around in people's minds. And we're talking about our own minds and feelings. We're talking about our feelings, Max. See, you Im we immediately emasculated it. We, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're making fun of Felix. Yeah, but in reality, it's important that to have someone you can confide in. Yeah. To be like, hey, my day sucks. And even... I am not good. Yeah, and even uh, uh, just like what you were saying, like... Um, that fear uh, of being a burden to another person. That, like, playing the game between extroversion and introversion. Oh, yeah. Um... What what a lot of people need is being honest with themselves. Like, if, yeah. you're, if you're an introvert, I don't expect you to ever be an extrovert. Yeah. But I expect you to know your le I, to know your limits. Because if you don't know your limits, whoa, oh, that was instant death. Uh, he exploded. Gotcha. When I punched him, I forgot about that. Uh, that's why you shoot them from far away, ah. and they put that in the shooting level to teach you that. But you skipped through it? Uh, no, I just completely forgot. God dang it. Okay, so, um... Yeah, no, it's important to that you know yourself so you can take care of yourself. Um, as an, as an ambivert, like, well, like, extroversion and introversion is a sliding scale. It's not like you're either one or completely one or completely the other. Yeah, sure, there are times that I could easily talk to a group or be within a oh, group. God dang it. No! Oh, God. Screw you. Okay. I know for me, personally, I know I'm, I'm definitely more introverted than extroverted. I much like my alone time. I like to just kind of sit in my apartment and just kind of relax by myself, not really interact with anyone. But then there are times where I'm like, Max, you want to go do something? Yeah. Um, and actually, um, that goes the same for extroverts as well. Oh, come on. Wow, you are I'm so I'm not used here. to having this little health. Do you have a limited amount of lives? Uh, yes. Whoa. I have three lives before I'm kicked out of his brain. And you have to start all over again? No. Uh, no? Then I, then I jump back in the brain. To, like... Uh, like, it spits me out. Back to here or back to the beginning of this brain level? Uh, back to the beginning of the brain. Uh, no, back to... Back to where we are here in the story. Oh, okay. Then why don't they just give you like infinite lives? Um, why for the same. Re uh... Oh dear. Oh. Okay. Okay. So, um, good question. Um, this was still in the early PS2 era where everyone thought having uh, lives was like normal. That's true. It's still within that that uh, era oh, crap. of game. Oh. Crap. oh. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Nice. There went half my health. You know, it's interesting. I can't really think of many games nowadays that have lives, that have like a live system, life system. Even even the Dark Souls games, well, because you don't we, have, because like grown, the point of it is dying. Yeah, we've grown out of it. Cause like yeah. the, the lives thing was built to take your quarters in an arcade. It's an arcade quarter eater. Which is why, uh, uh, Turtles in Time uh, on the Super Nintendo is hard as crap because when they ported it, they didn't give you that option. I'm glad we don't have a big audience yet because I can immediately see them, the fictional audience that we don't have yet, typing away like, It's not hard! It's so easy! What are you doing? You don't even play a game right! Oh, wow. That is what they sound like. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, please continue. Oh, wow. We have gone on really long. Uh, so... Uh, it's been good. Now, with all this fire and this good... Uh, in-depth brain talk. Yes. Uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna call this an episode. Uh, you didn't have you didn't have a thought to finish up or anything. A, uh, uh, well, I'm just saying like with ambiverts. Uh, well, ooh, uh, with extroverts. Yes. Um, extroverts have different kinds of energy. Um, yes. For people, um, they recharge with people, but when they're like on stage or like when when they're dealing with like like HR things, see they're gonna follow me. Yeah. 
That's cool. Uh, I like that a lot. Oh no. Full health. Very nice. Um, so when they, um, so when extroverts are done working with customers all day, they need a break. Yeah. From peopling. Yeah. Uh, just, just like introverts do, except uh, it's not their home. They need it as much as introverts do. Uh, as much as introverts need time with people in order to be healthy. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely a whole thing. Yeah. Brains and psychology are not easy, like this game. Yeah. Um. Even with, uh, even with the ability to. Um, to bend spoons. Uh. No. Even with the. Even with the ability to like scan brains, uh -huh. um, we're we're uh, to equate brain scanning to looking at space. Um, it's uh, we're at the Galileo area. Yeah, still we, still we, working our way through. We could see stuff in there. Yeah, but that's pretty much it. That's but all learning like how it makes sense and all that—that's a whole other deal. Yeah, we really don't understand it. Just like your internal voice. You lose control of your own mind. It's very hard to get it back. Yes. One's thoughts must be 100% controlled at all times. Well, no. Actually, if you try to completely suppress your undesirable feelings, they'll build and build and eventually explode. Oh. So, uh, what would happen if you were to, say, completely block off all your sensor outlets? Well, there would be a buildup of sensor energy within uh -oh. that would, uh, eventually... Is he going full on nuke here? Run, Rasputin. Very fast. Yeah, he went full Tazar bomb. What? You are my own creation. I command you to stop. He died for you. Oh, it's time to earn your merit badge. All, All right. right, and we'll pick it up here next time on Leather Soup Gaming. Do you have a food for thought for us? I do, but it's hard because my internal voice keeps screaming, and it doesn't have a breath. So can I scream internal?